Today I'm going to be showing you and walking you guys through the exact steps to make your very first Fortnite map thumbnail or multiple Fortnite map thumbnails as a beginner that are going to be viral and trendy. Because as you guys can see on the screen here, we have a whole bunch of viral map thumbnails that you guys can pick from, which literally draws you in and attracts you to the game that makes you want to play in the first place. Because what people see in first impression is what people relate to. It's how people actually navigate life. It's all perception. And so today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to actually make a thumbnail. As you guys can see on screen here, all of the viral games that are actually popular have attractive thumbnails that garner a lot of attention and players, which I'm going to show you exactly how to do today. All right, guys. So what I want you guys to do is head on into the software called Phototopia. Don't worry, guys. It's free. I know Photoshop's like $30 a month ish, whatever. But all of the links that I tell you guys today are going to be completely free and they're going to be in the link of the description below. So you're not going to have any problems finding the links that I'm using in this video. So what I want you guys to do is head on into the software called Phototopia. I just have it as a shortcut, so I don't really have to just search it up every time, but it's called phototopia.com. It's right here. I can highlight it. It'll be in the link in the description. And what I want you guys to do is go to new project. Pretty much, I just want you guys to create a flat surface image. And what I want you guys to do is open up any image of choice. Today, we're going to be making box PVP thumbnails because those are actually extremely popular today because then you guys can use the Microsoft Bing AI tool that literally creates images for you out of thin air that are pretty much identical one-to-one -one replicas of Fortnite, but characterized in entertainment and IP, which I'll show you guys today because today we're going to make a Mario based thumbnail. That's honestly insane. So we have this thumbnail here. It's the box PVP. I want you guys to actually innovate and grab your own image. So grab your own image. Just like try to just get the maneuver with it. You know, try to learn from the best of the best. But today I'm going to show you this software called Microsoft Bing AI. This is a software that literally everyone uses for image creation. So today we're going to be creating a Mario box PVP. I'm going to show you how to make this thumbnail. So this is the prompt that you guys want to use. Guys, replay this video, pause the video. This is the exact prompt that I want you guys to copy and follow along or nothing is going to work. Okay. And it's not going to look aesthetic or pleasing to anyone. So this is what I want you guys to do. Image of Mario, you guys can do whatever IP you want. So when you're doing a popular IP, I want you guys to do like image of XYZ from XYZ TV show. Understand my riz? All right, cool. So image of Mario from the IP Mario inside of Fortnite with white background. Background looking at camera with arms crossed. This is the prompt that I want you guys to use, okay? With me today. Right, and you're going to see the Mario popular IP. It's going to look exactly identical to Mario. All right, so while it's loading, you guys will see how actually spectacular it actually looks. And you're going to see today what it actually looks like. All right, guys, as you can see right here, it just generated. Look at this. This is Mario. Mario. This is literally a one-to-one one -one replica of Mario. All right. And what I want you guys to do is just head on and download the image. And then after that, I want you guys to go to the software called Adobe Background Remover. We're going to use another one called Remove.bg. So if you don't want to download the image, if you have too much storage, you can actually just copy and paste it. I'll actually show you guys the software right now. Here it is. Remove BG. This is the software that you guys can use. If you just don't want to download the images, you just want to copy and paste it in and just have it in the software as well. And if you guys have a file that's like not a PNG, it doesn't matter. If you actually drag it in here, the software accepts all file sizes. And if you just hit export, it actually just exports into a PNG right here. See? PNG, we can have it to whatever you want. All right, that's cool and all, but whatever. Davis, we don't give a shit. Just show us how to make a thumbnail. So you're just going to download the image. And what, what you're going to do is just grab the image. You're just going to grab it from your file, drag it in. And what you're going to do is actually just do as so, as I say. And now you're going to transform the image. So you're going to hit one hit flip horizontally so it looks like it's actually at the camera. Because if you guys go to the box PVP thumbnails here, you guys can see that a lot of them are facing the way to the camera. You know, they're looking left to right. And, you know, our eyes actually look left to right. That's why thumbnails are disproportional to the eyes, right? It's all catered, right? So, like, this one, this one, this one. All right, so now we have this. Now we have your image here. You can copy whatever image you want, but this is what I want you guys to do to actually make it pop, okay? So, I want you guys to go to brightness and contrast. I want you guys to have that on to 21. And what I want you guys to do with your vibrance, I want you guys to have that on to 21. You guys can have it actually whatever you want to, but I want you guys to go to the exposure and have it to 0.13. But this is how you actually make it nice and vibrant and actually stick out. And then you're going to want to sharpen the image as well. You guys can actually see the before and after of how it actually looks. So if you guys go to here, watch the shit. Boom, 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 boom. Like look at the difference, guys. That's an insane difference. A lot of you guys always ask how I get the glow. This is how you actually do it. So you want to double click or you can right click and you want to go to blending options and you want to go to outer glow. And then what I want you guys to do is go to the blend blending mode options and go to screen and have this on 75% opacity and have the size to 200%. And you can grab whatever color you want. I'm going to have red because Mario is red. And as you guys can see on the screen here, look how vibrant and bright and juicy this image is. Like it just pops, you know, from a before and after standpoint, you guys can see what it looked like. It looked like nothing. It was a piece of shit Mario. And now look at it now. It's honestly pretty cool, pretty cool, right? So now we have the Mario image. How do I get the circles? Okay, but before we do that, I want you guys to show you how to actually get the Fortnite font text to where it says labeled Mario Box PVP. So if I show you guys my games that I've made, as you guys can see on the screen here, it'll, you'll see Skylanders, right? So here we have Skylanders. See, see how, see the text right here? It's cool, it says Skylanders, all right? That's what we're gonna do. So what I want you guys to do is search up Mario. So whatever your box PVP is based around, you guys just wanna type the text called Mario. And I want you guys to have it yellow because if you guys look on the box PVPs, a lot of them are yellow. But what I want you guys to do this time is go to gradient overlay. It's, it just adds a little oomph to it, little 
more amb ambiance, you know what I'm saying? Like a little bit more cooler effect. You want to have it yellow, right? So you're going to have it bright yellow, and then you're going to go to the other, other little square, and you're going to have it a little bit darker. It kind of just makes the image stand out more. As you guys can see, it look, it look, it look, as you guys can see, it looks a lot better than just like a regular ass color. It kind of has more oomph to it, right? And we're going to have the stroke to six. I have the stroke to six. And now we have Mario here today. Mario box PVP. I actually don't really like mine. So I'm going to make the yellow a little bit brighter, kind of mid. So I'm just going to make it a little bit more brighter. There we go. That's a lot better. I'm also going to make the orange a little bit, not as dark. There we go. Now it looks a lot better. There we go. Looks a lot better. You guys can hit control Z for the before and after if you want, but uh, I like, I prefer the way mine looks. And what we're going to do here is now search up box PVP. PvP. Now we have box PVP. Now you guys just now you guys don't even have to retype in, anything in. You can you guys can literally just hit stroke. And I want you guys to have the box PVP white. This is going to be white, and it's going to be bigger than um, the Mario. It's going to be bigger than the top image. It's going to look like this. So box PVP. So it's like boom, box PVP. You know what I'm saying? There's more like psychological oomph to it, like more arousal and stimuli and stuff. You no. Know? So now we have Mario box PVP. Looks all nice, and cool, nice, and spectacular. You guys can hit F to see what it will look like. You know, if someone was like per perceiving it and viewing it. And this is how you guys want to download. So now I'm going to show you guys how to make the icons in your image. All right, this is what you guys want to do. 3D circle image of Mario from the game Mario with evil powers. The reason I do evil powers and mad and angry with red lightning. The reason why I do um make them look super nice and angry and stuff is because it like it makes it look more cooler. It makes it look more badass, you know? So now that it's loaded in, as you guys can see here, we have all of these thumbnails and we can choose from all of these. It's, you know, you can do whatever you want with them. But um, I like this one. You guys can choose whatever you want here. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys. You guys can literally just hit Control V, Control C, Control V, and boom. Now it's just gonna copy paste in. Like I said, all the links will be in here and you guys can join my Discord for the, all the free sauce for all free, uh, free images and a lot of the time the uh, the image will actually kind of be removed like sometimes it'll be erased right it'll look like this sometimes like parts of the image will, will kind of be erased so you guys can actually just go to erase and restore and you can restore like the glow or xyz right you can glow you can actually restore parts of the image so as you guys can see i kind of restored the uh the shit part that nobody really wants like the black silhouette of it so if this ever happens all you guys can do is just go to erase and the AI will literally just solve all of your problems. You can literally just go like this and it'll solve all of the issues. See, now it looks just as good. See, minor that part, but now we're good to go. Now we can actually just download the image or you can use the Adobe software program and you just want to drag the image in and like so. And now we have a cool little icon here. Yeah, this is how the, pe this is literally how the professionals do it. Okay, all right. So now we have our little icon here. You don't want to have it too big because you really want the highlight to be the Mario on the right. And uh, people are actually attracted to red and they're actually scared of red and it's more daunting. And the reason why is because blood, the red is the actual color of our blood. That is kind of why it's like super attractive. So what I want you guys to do is grab the brightness and turn it up, make it nice and vibrant, nice and juicy. Go to the vibrance and also put that at 21 and go to the exposure and put that at 0 0.13. You usually do the same stuff for the uh, main character image to the uh, second image as well. And you also want to sharpen it as well. Usually I want to have it at 200% at one. And now it looks super vibrant. You guys can go to the before and after here. You guys can see that it looks super, super awesome. Super, super cool. If you can see. See? Like there's literally a glow to the eyes. And before there literally wasn't. There was like nothing here. If I zoom in here. I show you there was like nothing there there was nothing there right and that's pretty much how you want to make cool satisfying thumbnails and i'll show you guys some thumbnails that i've made myself here. so i'm just scrolling through my photos here i want to show you guys thumbnails that i made myself for my fortnite maps so here's the roblox one that i made very very fancy very very vibrant to the eyes this is the thumbnail that i made if you guys can look at the screen here look how cool this looks this thumbnail looks badass it looks super super cool super super unique super super awesome this is exactly how you want to make your thumbnail so i'm glad i could show you guys this video to take you guys from beginner and noob to pro to make you guys your first viral you know fortnite thumbnails today um all of the links in the descriptions will be in the link in the description so you guys can all use all of the tools and stuff that i use and you guys can join my discord where you can connect with like-minded people and learn how to make fortnite maps together as a community so love you guys click my last two videos on the screen it's been your boy davy i'm out peace